Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, it is early in the morning and I just got back from North Dakota, got about two hours of sleep. And I'll tell you, Matt, you've been working like crazy, so I'm sure that you guys uh, go a lot without sleep and plus the excitement, huh? Yeah, you got it right on. Hey, so Blake is gonna be our spokesperson this week, you know, on our show. Hey, Blake, tell us what we got going on here. Well, I mean, why are we standing out in the dark in whatever kind of field this is? I think it was peas? Yep, peas. A pea field, huh? Yep, we got around 100 geese going into this field, sometimes over 200, so should be a good one. Let's talk a little bit, you guys. I mean, you guys live for this stuff, and which is, that's why I love filming with you guys, because the passion that you guys have for this. But let's talk about, like, the last couple years. There seems that there be so many more people have gotten into this early goose season, and it really changes a lot. So, how many times do you like find a really good field and then you can't get permission to go in it? Um, it's, right? It's probably, I mean, 15 no's the one yes, maybe even more than that. And just being able to communicate with the farmer and know how to talk to the farmer really gets you one step above everybody else to get permission for the field. Like I always say, I will tell you what, I don't care if we shoot one goose or shoot our limits, it's gonna be a great morning. So hang on to your heinies. Hey boys, if they make a pass, I'd shoot. <laughs> hammer on him again, hammer on him again. Shoot him. That's how you shoot a flock, boys. That was hey, killer. Three more over that, that one's crippled right here. Yeah, there's Woo! That's how you Whoa. shoot a flock, boys. To call them birds right back around. And uh, basically, I don't even know, I think we got about a dozen out of that flock. That was, that was, that was killer. But the cool part is we kept on the calls, they kept flagging them, and that flock came right back around. And basically, I think we got the flock. Should be three back there. Woo. Getting her on opening day. Here he comes, here he comes. Who's gonna wreck this one? I got him, don't move. Unbelievable, that's what you want. Blake, where are they at? I can't see. That was killer. Man, Woo! Opening day of early season goose, unbelievable. You know, just it's that time of year where the excitement changes from fishing to hunting. 
And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, what a great way to start it off right here. Great guys, great hunting. That is a banger. That is no doubt a banger. Hey, I'll tell you what, Hunter, that's my five. My turn with the camera. I know Shaky Smith can get the job done. You sure? You, you take the gun. You sure? Yeah. What do you mean? Am I sure? I got my limit, so your turn, buddy. Hey, Blake, I'll tell you what. We let two flocks come through, and we took them right away. And then the third flock, we decided let's let them come and see if they come back around and come over us. And you know what? We got burned on that. Yes, so I'm did. thinking that the next flock that comes through should just take them as they're passing. Yep, it seemed like uh, today the wind died down, so the geese weren't really playing the wind too much, and they were coming by 30, 40 yards, really low to the ground, and we decided to take them besides letting them work and uh, head to the back of the field. We've been driving around 800 to 1,000 miles every single week, uh, and this is the result right here. Amazing. We've been watching this field the last couple weeks. They've all been in this tall grass. This is all used up pea field, so they've been in here pretty steady. They've been real tight. We've been, we ran about three, four dozen full bodies and about five dozen uh, dive bomb decoys. And they didn't work us the best today, but they came through with some pretty close pass through shots turned out pretty good we got our limit we did not think it was going to happen right away did we no not quite so much they came a little bit later than we expected but yeah a, a, a little bit later <laughs> turn around hunter turn around are you kidding come on uh, i don't think that they want to come back to this field you guys i think that i think the, the fire tire truck is scaring them you think so? <laughs> right wow you know, it doesn't always work out this way. We hunted last year with you guys opening day. You guys had a great field. You had birds coming in like crazy. You guys put hundreds of miles, maybe thousands of miles on, driving around the whole state, looking for the right fields, doing the research, trying to find the landowners, getting permission to get on a lot of these properties, which is not easy anymore. So definitely when you do get on a piece of property, guys, you know what? Don't intrude on somebody else. If they get there before you and they have permission, please be respectful. That is a huge thing when it comes to hunting world. And no doubt that this type of hunting has become very popular over the last probably 10 years. So respect is a big thing. Respect for other hunters, respect for the landowners. That's just the way it should be. But hey, let's talk a little bit about heavy shot. Heavy shot definitely did the job today. You know though, and then you could have got the job done with any other brand too, but the cool part about that is that not many cripples. You're like, when you're hitting these birds, they're folding. Right. Yeah, heavy shot basically just folds them like no other. That's why that's all I shoot. I know a couple of these other guys shoot it as well, but that's, that's what I stand by and that's all I shoot. It's just, there's nothing else really like it out there on the market. So who's gonna clean all these birds? Well, I don't mind one bit. So let's tell everybody really, you know, because a lot of people are looking at all these geese and they're thinking, well, you know, are they going to go to waste? Absolutely not. Tell everybody what, as the group, what we do with these birds. So we turn all of our ducks and geese from the season. Uh, we actually take them into Leroy's and we get them made into uh, hot sticks. So and that's one of the best things to do with most of these geese like that. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can eat a few of them, but when you start hunting a lot and you get a lot of birds, turning them into hot sticks is a great way. And you know, the other thing, and you brought this up 
Matt, is that it's another great thing to get them made and give them to the landowners too. Hey, what an amazing morning we had. Again, thanks everybody for joining us. Remember to check out all of our social media avenues, especially our podcast. We Eat Fish Eat every Tuesday. We talk about everything from A to Z. It's just one of them things that my heart is totally in, just like the show, and I love when you guys join us for that. No doubt, as of today, we are still living in the greatest country in the world, and it is a great day to be alive, and we'll see you next week.